Can't you read? It says private no landing. They're saying this one and its three goslings are going into the water. Those two have chased them away. And there's one going down just on its own. It's a pretty bird, but it doesn't belong really in Europe. It's a species which was brought in actually to grace water parks and be kept in captivity. But it had ideas of its own on that head and colonised and became wild in our rivers. So it's, it's, it's like a semi-wild bird. It's, um, I mean, you couldn't call it really a, the same as a wild goose. I mean, if you take a really wild bird, like, like a heron or something like that, you try getting as close as that to a heron or a kingfisher, then you won't be able to. So it's, it's like pets that have got, become everybody's pet. If I wanted to get some bread out of my pocket, I have no difficulty in hand feeding um, a Canada goose. They will come up to me and accept food from my hand once it's sure that my intentions are honourable and not to turn it into the next dinner that I have. How it actually be sure about that, I don't know, because I, I kind of like hope that I'm a reasonably good actor, although in fact I don't have any bad intentions towards them. Um, here the, the bull burn turns a sharp corner and gets all flat and nice, so you can see the ripples on it and the dog enjoying the water barking at some fish or something that it's found in there, maybe a crayfish. It's pulling something out of the water. What exactly it's got, I don't know. Right, so having taken you along from Bourne End pretty much to Hamill Hempstead, I'm now checking to see if there's anything I can immediately comment on before it's time to really turn this off. When I get into Hemel, I shall go to a couple of shops on the way just to do a bit of window shopping. I don't want to buy anything. I bought some things today, clothing for the kids and that. Cheaper here than in Poland, you might be surprised to know. Um, that's the power of the supermarket, the English supermarket for you. And what you see behind that willow up there is the new Kodak building. I pull back again. Just remembering to focus up and then not pull back. It's not good. There's some buttercups. They like to live near water. Well, they also grow on my terrace in Poland. So, um, what you saw a tiny bit of there. Oh, this is brilliant. Can you believe that? Naughty boy. This is what this boat is called. Naughty boy. And it's a pun, of course. Um, the naughty is uh, almost as bad as that thing in Gulliver's Travels film. The uh, not 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 for sale. Uh, naughty boy. There it seems that the, there's a kind of belief that boat names should have puns on. Naughty boy, nautical, um, and boy, of course, is boy B U. Uh, why the Dutch word uh, loaned into English for a uh, something that gives buoyancy or which is buoyant in water. So here we have a, clearly a nice little holiday uh, arrangement called the Brian Donkin's Batchworth Ferry, the papertrail.org.uk. So if you want to, to take part in something like this yourself, that's the website to go to. No harm in plugging it if you see it. People seem happy on it anyway, so uh, whether they needed to be dressed up that warmly in some cases I just don't know, but if you're sitting it's different to when you're walking. So there we go, there's the, the naughty boy. And uh, I shall think, oh, I shall think I shall stop. Now the only other thing to be looking out for here is Snooks's grave. I've talked about Snooks before and I did a special film dedicated to Snooks. So if you want to look up Usenet posts, Snooks, S-N-O-O-K-S, you'll see something about that. But I never actually got to Snooks' grave. I'm not sure exactly where the Snooks' grave is. But he was the last ever highwayman to be 
um, executed in the UK. So, uh, and this area is famous for him, and some businesses are named in honour of of Snooks. So. There's some coarse fishing going on there. Coarse fishing being the name applied to river fishing. It's not just that the guy's got no shirt on. Um, so, oh, and that Rottweiler's gone in the canal. It's always nice, but then you've got a very smelly dog afterwards, I should say. Not that I'm a big fan of the way dogs smell at the best of times, but after they've just come out of the Grand Union Canal, I'd imagine that it's worse than ever. I'm not tempted really to keep a dog. And that beautiful red, red version of the horse chestnut over there is really quite beautiful as well. Right, maybe that's enough for today.